we are in the process to go into different social status and I'm allowed to see there are different kind of realities in the world and I love that. I absolutely love that there's, there's a confusion, chaotic in the world, in our life. I'm that kind of person who is always afraid of people have um, one answer and they are so sure of themselves. I don't want to be sure of myself. I want to be challenged and I, actually I want to feel stupid. Because when you're stupid, you learn. And when you're so smart, you know everything. You forgot to, to learn. Because the world is beautiful. I, I, it's not a perfect world. It's definitely not perfect, but it's just beautiful. That's it. And, and as a journey, we, what can we do? We just enjoy it, right? So I think the older I am, and the more I travel, that actually more, the happier I am. But for me, myself, i always wondering what's next. You know, I, I want a revolution, but after the re revolution, what's next? revolution I want the world to change but I think the difference between the the Orient and um, the West is because um, we have different set of um, thinking uh, we draw our wisdom from life from little things experience from our parents from our ancestors so um, we are more down to earth than they are we are more pragmatic so when we deal with life, sometimes we will demonstrate some kind of very strong strength. Uh, even something really terrible happened, like the end of the world. Um, the Western people, because they even they, they don't go to church now, um, I think maybe deep inside they still believe in God or some kind of higher existence. So when something bad happened, they want to know the answer. They will look for something very high existence to look for philosophical abstract ideas to solve their issues in their own life. When Western people, when they have a spiritual crisis, they always try to come to the Orient to seek for uh, answers. The Orient always got held as like the kingdom of spirits for the Western uh, imagination. So that's one of the reasons I want to put those characters where they face the crisis of their personal life, uh, when they think they are facing the end of the world, they want to go far, far, far away to a so-called relatively strange country and to seek for the answer to their life. This is very, very um, precious heritage of Western civilization is the, the power of, of um, abstract thinking to philosophize about our life as a human beings. I just feel that if the world comes to the end, um, everyone will be forced to take a deep look into their soul and think about who they are, what they, what, what they were. And if they were given the second chance, you know, like rebirth, um, what they want to go from here. So that's the whole uh, basic idea about this story. Uh, it's about resurrection. You know, you come to the bottom, almost nearly death experience. And then um, you got, reborn again so that's um that's the idea but um at this moment i'm not very happy with um the progress of the story i'm kind of stuck a little bit um maybe i need to rewrite um the whole things i i don't know i'm struggling because um this character i created um have a lot of issues and uh it seems that um they were um they were drawn in their shortcoming and couldn't really uh, come out. 
you feel that they are a little bit like child, perhaps too naive. And、uh, for example, this character Mikael,、um, he he is very very、uh, sentimental, quite fragile. He's always afraid. He's sometimes crying and breaking down. He try very hard to find the meaning of his life, but he always fails. He's miserable, obviously, and he needs to be loved desperately.、Um, as for the plan I invented for Jean Paulo,、um, I always say that I have a big plan for him in the future, but which is not true. I already put him in a climax. Right from the beginning of the story,、uh, however, this climax he cannot sustain, and that's why he got stuck too. It's part of my fault.、Uh, Tatiana, also another mistake. I because、um, I kind of obliged Tatiana to get rid of Mikael,、uh, which is wrong because we all should learn to carry on and live our life without dead people to carry the memory. Of our loved one, even when they are gone, in our life is is a way to complete ourselves. So right now I'm totally fuck. I don't know how to、uh, carry on because I don't know how to solve this asteroid issue, and、uh, I don't know how to finish this story.